So, Paul, here we are, Australia, first race. What's the feeling? Uh, very excited. Um, it's been a long build-up to this, a long winter, a lot of hard work. Um, haven't really stopped from last year, um, just continued it over. Um, and, you know, three days away from a Grand Prix, it's a strange sensation, but one naturally that I'm much looking forward to and certainly seeing where we are as a team uh, and where we need to focus on for the rest of the year. Well, where are you as a team? It's a bit unknown. We're not exactly where we want to be, uh, but still staying very positive. Um, you know, it's a long year ahead. Um, there'll be better points over the weekend, um, but you know, it's very difficult to judge exactly where we're going to be, um, given that it's only been winter testing, and I'm sure everybody's in the same position. Um, but you know, we're going into it with a strong mind um, and very open-minded at that. A couple of rule changes I want to ask you about. When you open the the rear wing, a movable rear wing, what kind of what's it like? What does it feel like? Do you get a big kick? Oh, it's definitely a reduction in drag. Um, you know, the car does take off. Um, it's quite a, a strange sensation, and it certainly makes you think in qualifying when you're going to press it. You know, you, you always get a bit braver. Um, it be interesting to see if it catches anybody out, or, you know, myself, whatever. But, you know, a little bit of performance will all grab with both hands. Um, but naturally, it's exciting. The workload in the cockpit is a bit higher. Um, so it'll be difficult to see how it's managed, both through qualifying and the race. And last one from me on, on, on the changes. What about the tyres? What's really going to be the trick to getting it right? Recognise when the tyres sort of go off the edge of the cliff like that? Well, again, in winter testing, we've only done it on tracks. You know, we're coming to a street track that essentially could rubber in a lot over the weekend. So it's just going to see how the wear life is of them and what axle that will be. And equally, um, during the race, what you know, given what safety cars... What is the what is the ultimate tyre that's going to degrade, um, and who can make them last, but still get the performance as normal? Um, it's all new, so I'm sure the pit wall is going to be busy this weekend, and, and they'll they'll be certainly a big key to the result.